here's a really important piece that is is good to understand is there's so many different weather websites and apps out there to look at but there's only one authoritative weather source especially if you work in the government uh, or you're an emergency manager of some sort this is for the united states so if you're not from the united states you have your authoritative weather source that is your your national uh, meteorological service okay in the United States, it's the National Weather Service. They produce the weather watches, warnings, advisories, and the official forecasts, okay? You can look at the Weather Channel. The tornado warnings and severe thunderstorm warnings that you see on the Weather Channel are actually products of the National Weather Service. They're just souped up for the Weather Channel so they can make their money. <laughs> but the forecasts from the Weather Channel are actually just Weather Channel forecasts. They're not necessarily the same as the National Weather Service. Okay. The Hurricane Center, the National Hurricane Center, uh, that is part of the National Weather Service as well. Weather Prediction Center, which uh, creates our flooding forecasts and so forth, that is part of the National Weather Service. The Storm Prediction Center, those are the guys who make the severe weather forecasts and the fire weather forecasts. That's part of the National Weather Service. Then we have the National Weather Climate Prediction Center. That is the long term. Is it going to be a hot summer this summer or a cold summer or a rainy summer? You know, all of that. So more long term climate predictions. That's done by the National Weather Service as well. Now, there's different types of weather alerts, okay? There's a weather outlook. An outlook is a forecast which may or may not include hazardous weather. It can be for an entire season, a month, a week, a day. There's hazardous weather outlooks. That's generally for about a week. But there's hydrometeorological outlets that are for entire seasons, okay? There's hurricane outlooks for entire seasons. El Nino advisories and outlooks for seasons. So an outlook is just more or less another word for a forecast of uh, some sort of specific length. But it could be, like I said, anything from a day to a week to several months to even an entire year, even beyond that. An advisory is a hazardous nuisance weather alert. Okay, wind advisory, heat advisory, frost advisory. It, it's generally a type of weather event that could be hazardous depending on, on who you are, where you are. But it's generally not going to be life-threatening unless you really are unlucky, I guess is the word, or you really just don't take proper precautions, okay? So, like I said, wind advisory. It's not going to be like the wind is blowing so hard that, you you know, it's, it's just going to blow you off your feet. Um, no, probably not. Okay, heat advisory is not going to be just so hot that, I mean, everything is just going to be scorching and everyone's going to uh, be dehydrated and die. No, but I mean, if you um, leave your pets in the car or a small child in the car while you go grocery shopping and during a day where a heat advisory is out, yeah, that could be very dangerous or life-threatening, okay? But usually more or less it's just nuisance weather. It's just something that may get in your way, um, but it's not necessarily going to be life-threatening or incredibly dangerous okay if it's going to be life-threatening or incredibly dangerous on a widespread level it's going to be a, a weather warning that is issued and we'll get to that in a minute now there's weather statements it's much like an advisory but it can also be a downgrade from a warning it may include hazardous weather phenomena for example one we've got here is a rip current statement it, it's more or less just a forecast uh, that talks about what's either currently going on or about to go on um, but it's not necessarily life-threatening so long as you uh, just do your due diligence to and that you're aware of it and you, you avoid it and, and and take care of yourself a weather watch is the potential for widespread dangerous weather and generally a precursor to weather warnings you're going to see this a lot with tornado watches severe thunderstorm watches winter weather watches flash flood watches just anything that's going to be more or less life-threatening, hazardous to property, hazardous to people or animals, okay, you're going to see a watch, okay? It usually comes four to six hours, at least for like uh, severe weather outbreaks and stuff, about four to six hours prior to the main event. Uh, winter weather or for hurricanes, um, something that you can see coming a lot further out. Sometimes it's, it's out several days or at least a day prior to the point where warnings have to start being issued. So it's different based on the weather phenomena. 
what it means, though, is that there's a potential for dangerous weather to occur, not necessarily that the dangerous weather is occurring yet. A weather warning is imminent dangerous weather. It's either occurring or it's about to occur. It means that there's going to be likely damage to property and a potential for injury and death to people or animals. Okay, tornado warning, take cover immediately. Severe thunderstorm warning, take cover immediately. Blizzard warning, go inside, don't go outside, okay? Because if you do, it's, it's going to... It could cause great injury. It could cause death. You need to avoid it at all costs. Take proper precautions. Just don't go outside. Tornado warning. Shoot, go into the inner uh, bathroom or the if you've got a, a basement or a, a uh, someplace, or some sort of shelter that's even within the interior of your house or that's more fortified, go into there because this weather is very, very dangerous. That is a weather warning. And that about wraps it up. I really appreciate you taking this course. If you've got any questions or comments, please message me. Be sure to rate this course. I hope you had fun. I hope you had a great time. I hope you learned something. We'll see you later.